Hello. Hello, hello, hello. ¿Hay alguien por ahí? Hello. hello. Hi, guys. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing today? Great. And you? Great. I'm doing really good. I'm, I'm happy because I can be with you today, guys. Yesterday was a difficult date, so now I can be with you. Hello, but my God, I, it seems like I'm alone. Everyone is with the Hi. camera. Also. <laughs> Hello, Brenda. Uh, hi, how are you? I'm doing good, but everybody's with the cameras off. Yeah. <laughs> <You're shy. laughs> no, no, no. Turn on the cameras. I want to see the people. I want to see the people. <laughs> it's like I'm alone, and I don't like that. Okay. Okay. Want to see you guys. Let's see who's going to be the first one to turn on the camera. You know, I have something. Tengo una cosa que a mí me gusta preguntarle más a la gente con la cámara apagada. Oh. Me da eso. Yo creo que es una enfermedad o algo que me da. I don't know. Something there. Quítalo. Suleima is like trying to turn on the camera because I saw her. Miguel, I don't know, like, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Diana, very good. Jani, Janari, nice Janari, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Silvia, very good. Thank Suleyma, you. excellent, excellent. Ruth, very good. Ana Berrios, excellent. Now I don't feel like I'm alone. Because when you have your cameras off, it feels like I'm alone. Stefania, very good. I can see Stefania now. See? It's better. I'm just waiting for Brenda, Miguel, Ruth, and William, right? Okay, guys. The first thing I need to tell you, nombres así como aparecen en el DUI, porfa. Así que si pueden renombrarse ahí y si pueden hacerlo desde la app para que antes de entrar a la clase ya aparezca su nombre completo, eso sería mucho mejor. Okay, los por... dos nombres y los dos apellidos. Correcto. Porque okay. pasa que cuando hacemos el conteo de minutos, yo necesito comprobar que es usted quien está en esta conferencia, ¿verdad? No es alguien más. Y aunque usted tenga su cara y todo, pues se necesita cámara encendida y nombre completo según DUI. ¿Saben cómo hacerlo? Hay una opción ahí que dice renombrar en sus chats. Dice renombrar. So, si pueden utilizar la opción de renombrar, excelente. Y si no, para la siguiente clase, háganlo de una vez desde la aplicación. Se van a su perfil cuando hacen el login, se van al perfil y hacen eso de cambiar su nombre completo en el perfil. Ok. So I'm just waiting. Vamos a cambiar esos nombres. Tenemos que cambiarlo Ruth, Silvia, Miguel. Right. Prenda ya lo cambió. Excelente. Ok, guys. So. Bienvenidos y bienvenidas a esta clase. Yo contenta de poderles ver hoy. Eh, ayer estuve un poco sad, <ríe> hasta dolor de estómago me dio porque se me fue el internet y yo dije, no, ¿cómo es posible? Qué mala primera impresión, ¿verdad? La teacher a saber dónde vive. Y sí, en realidad sí vivo en un lugar así. Si fuera de día, escuchan los gallos. O sea, sí vivo en un lugar bien refundido. <ríe> pero el internet usualmente es bueno. Pero ayer, oh my God, it was something really bad. So, um... I'm happy to be here. Eh, I'm happy that I could connect this day. Porque yo estaba como, no, ¿y qué pasa si no puedo? But I could. So I'm here. Um, este, vamos a empezar con lineamientos específicamente, ¿verdad? Primero que todo, eh, con la conexión de ustedes debe ser con cámaras encendidas. Nombres completos así como están inscritos. Por lo tanto, sería nombre completo según DUI. Eh, también deben conectarse con el correo que brindaron a Inglés Corporativo, ¿ok? Es muy importante que a ese correo donde a ustedes le mandaron la información, con ese mismo correo sea con el que se conecte a Zoom, ¿sí? Porque eso es como bien importante para, para, el, para llevar el control. Recuerden que esto es una beca y es muy importante pues llevar así lo, como nos han dado. Me van a disculpar, pero siempre tengo mi tecito. La garganta se cansa de estar hablando tanto. Ok, so... Eh, ya voy a pasar a otros lineamientos, pero primero que nada me quiero presentar. 
porque qué rude, ¿verdad? ¿Y cómo se llama la teacher? Inglés corporativo se llama, ok. So my name is Diana Sayas. Tengo una tocaya aquí, ¿verdad? So my name is Diana Sayas. Um, quiero ver, ¿qué más le puedo decir de mí? I'm 26 years old. Sí, a veces la gente me ve de más, a veces me ven de menos. O por si tienen esa duda, I'm 26. You're young. <laughs> I, I'm young. I'm young, yes. But la, la ventaja, I have been teaching English for six years now. So llevo enseñando inglés seis años. So ahí vamos, right? No estamos tan perdidos en lo que les voy a enseñar. Espero que les guste la clase primero que todo. Um, I don't live in San Salvador. No, I'm from Oriente. If you have ever been in Oriente, so si me ven sudando, digan no, con razón. La teacher allá, ¿verdad? Right. No soy de San Miguel, no, but I'm from Oriente. Right. And what else can I tell about me? I've been a teacher for five years. He estado enseñando en línea durante toda la pandemia y durante este tiempo. Así que ya manejo un poquito el Zoom. Se me da bien esto. Nada más cuando el internet no me quiere funcionar como ayer. Y disculpas again. <laughs> But that is all that is there. So, eso es todo de mí. Right? Espero que les guste mi clase. Me gusta ser un poco dinámica. Me gusta que tengan sus cámaras encendidas porque si no me siento sola. Aparte que la beca requiere que usted tenga the cameras on. All the time. Todo el tiempo, cámaras encendidas. Claudia, do you have a question? Veo ahí mano levantada, so, pero micrófono apagado. Nope. Ok. So, guys, uh, ¿nadie más tiene preguntas? ¿No? ¿Everything good? Ok. So, supongo que para todos esto es, eh, no es primera vez, ¿verdad? Ya han estado en clases tiempo, yes? I suppose. Yes, yes this yeah. is. Ok, so it, it's ok. It's my first time. Is your first time, Ruth? Meto. And yes. Silvia too? Yes. Okay, okay. So, also, uh, me. also you, Diana? Okay, but it means that your oh, English is good. Have... Anna, you too? So. <laughs> Only for Zoom. Just Only for English. Zoom. Yeah, it's the first time. Oh, okay, okay. So, but with Inglés Corporativo, is this your first time con Inglés Corporativo? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Okay. So, si es su primera vez, necesito explicarles algunas cosas, por eso necesitaba que me corroboraran. Ok, va, primero que nada les voy a compartir my screen. Que noche pase el señor del pan ustedes. Right, very late. Va, déjenme. Oh, I can explain you something. Ok, what? Uh, I have a problem with my camera because um, I have it to on in, to on my camera, but I don't know uh, why it can appear my my photography. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to to, to try to uh, fix the mm -hmm. problem, but in this moment I can to to show my my photography. Okay, so it seems like you have an app and you're having a problem with the app, right? I, I don't know what is my, my problem because I I teach too. In, um, obviamente no enseño inglés, ¿verdad? Okay. Yo, yo también doy clases y eh, trato de mantener pues mi cámara encendida cuando es necesario. Okay. Pero este no sé qué le hice acá porque desde ayer me pasó cuando me conecté y me apareció una imagen. He intentado tratar de modificar de muchas formas esta cosa y no me funciona. No sé qué le he hecho. Algo voy a, voy a tratar de hacer mañana. Pero su cámara es USB. No, mi cámara es la normal que trae la computadora. Ya la computadora trae su propia cámara. Uh -huh. Es una laptop y trae, computador, okay. trae cámara. Uh -huh. Pero no sé por qué me apareció una imagen y no la puedo quitar. Ok, Así esperemos que, que mañana ya pueda estar bien eso. Voy a intentar. Juan. Voy a intentar. Porque Solo si sí no... me ayuda con su nombre completo. Juan José. José. No, no aparece mi nombre. Ahí. Juan José. No, solo aparece el... Juan. No, completo. Ah, Juan José Ábalos. Eh, Juan Campos. José... A ver, a ver. Diana, dígame. Eh, teacher, para, el, para Juan José, tal vez podría conectarse desde su celular de, al Zoom para que... ¿El ver el video? El Ajá. Sí, también se puede. Puede ser alguna opción. You can try. 
pero si no, igual mañana podemos ver eso. Y yes, es importante que tengamos Sí, yo, ahí. Yo, yo voy a intentar, voy a consultar. Tengo amigos que son buenos para esto. Ok. Y probablemente me ayuden. Ok, ¿verdad? don't worry, it's ok. Um, ok, I'm going to go ahead with these guys because we need to continue. So I'm just going to go and share this. Ok, so uh, this is the module you are on is six. So it means that you are almost intermediate English. So it means that I'm not going to use that much of Spanish because you can speak English now. And I have seen that you can speak English because many of you have been speaking English. Again, this is a program that you have with Inglés para el Trabajo. It's from InsaForp and you are working and you are studying with the academia that is English corporative, right? So this is the first uh, conferencia that we have is how to use Ken and Kent, right? The date, it was yesterday's date, but <laughs> we had problems. So it's today's date. It's Wednesday, May 12th. This is the only time I'm going to say the date and the name of the conference because next classes, I'm going to ask you to do it. And the year, as you know, I, I, I believe you know, you can say a 2021 or you can say 2021, right? Very good. So this is the part I need to go. This is the main part because I have to go with the attendance and everything. There are guidelines that we have here. And the first guideline that we have is the attendance. We take it three times. Okay, so I'm gonna give, I'm gonna be saying your names three times at 8 a.m., 8 p.m., I mean, I'm at 8 p.m., it should be, but I'm not doing it, at nine and then at 10, right? Then the second point is cameras on at all times. So your camera must be on. If you cannot have your camera on, you have to let me know why. Español, si tienen, no tienen su cámara encendida, déjenme saber por qué. Aquí en el chat que tenemos, privado, escojan solo inglés corporativo para que me caiga a mí. Solo eh, si me dicen por qué y sea un motivo grandísimo, pueden tener la cámara apagada. De lo contrario, necesita que esté encendida porque esto, les repito, es una beca y it needs to be on, right? Guys, let me... Oh, yeah, sí estoy grabando, pensé que no. Uf. Then full names as in the DUI. Nombres completos como aparecen en el DUI. Así que ayúdenme las personas que tienen el nombre así, solo dos nombres. Si no saben cómo, pueden cl dar clic ahí en su pantalla. Miren dónde aparece su, su imagen. Ahí den clic en esos tres puntitos que aparecen y va a aparecer una parte que dice renombrar dan en esa opción y les va a dejar cambiar su nombre. De nuevo, buscan su video, tres puntos, renombrar. Right? Let's go with the next one. Login with the provided email. Van a conectarse con el email que ustedes dieron a inglés corporativo. Okay? Um, turn on your mic only when necessary. Esto es muy importante que puedo hacerlo yo aquí. Um, <laughs> Enciendan su micrófono cuando sea necesario, porque ahorita solo se escucha mi ruido, porque solo yo estoy hablando, pero si tienen su micrófono encendido todo el tiempo, puede ser que salgan en un meme, como los que han visto en videos, no han visto esos videos virales de memes, que de repente andan vendiendo el pan, o están peleando y se vuelven virales, no quieren ser virales. Así que enciendan el micrófono cuando sea necesario. The next one, support sessions every day from 10 to 10, 10 p.m. Vamos a tener opciones de refuerzo con cada estudiante, yo aquí los tengo programados, pero si ustedes quieren reprogramar su fecha o alguien quiere mover, podemos hablar con alguien más y cambiar sus fechas. Para los que ya han estado en este programa, significa que de 10 a 10, 10 con 10 minutos de la noche, yo voy a estar reforzando algún tema con una persona en específico, o sea que solo voy a quedarme con una persona a esa hora. Y al quedarme con esa persona en esa hora, usted me puede hacer las preguntas de la clase y puedo reforzarle. Ok, ya le voy a dar la calendarización de eso también. Uh, Spanish, ahorita estoy hablando español porque quiero que esto quede clarísimo como el agua. Spanish as a last resource. Vamos a hablar español como un recurso último. Como que ya explica el tema cinco veces y usted no, teacher, realmente quiere saber qué está diciendo. Entonces ahí voy a usar español. And then we have attendance is about the minutes, right? 
la asistencia a esta clase no se trata de que yo vine, dije presente, me voy. No, aquí cuenta el minuto, el segundo que usted se conecte a la clase, eso es lo que cuenta. No basta con decir, I'm here, teacher, presente, I'm here, no. Basta la, el tiempo que ha estado conectado. So, esta clase dura dos horas, por lo tanto serían 120 minutos de conexión para que usted pueda ir, puede perder como unos cuantos minutos, pero no todos los días, porque usted necesita un porcentaje arriba del 80% para poder pasar este módulo. Yes. Y la plataforma, que eso ya quienes están aquí, pues lo saben perfectamente y quienes no, vamos a ver el refuerzo un poco. Voy a pasar con la asistencia, guys, porque <ríe> si no me va a comer el tiempo, en ya. So, este grupo es... Wait a minute. So it's G24. Wait a minute. Y ya les voy a dar también lo de las sesiones de refuerzo para que veamos cómo podemos controlar eso. What? Bueno, quiere trabajar esto. También ya vamos a tener tiempo para conocernos, así hablar, porque a mí me gusta conocer con quién estoy tratando. Right, tengo personas aquí, oyentes, dicen, so. Ok, si no menciono su nombre, porque tal vez estén oyentes y vemos después. Ok, so, let's go. Ana, so, nombres completos, cámaras encendidas, a la hora de decir eh, su nombre, tienen que tener decir, I'm here, como presente, I'm here, y su cámara encendida para yo ver quién está ahí. Ok, Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Oh, eh, sí veo que dice I'm here, pero su micrófono aparece desconectado. Así que si sí podemos ver ahí cómo se auxilia de eso. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de San... Berrios, Berrios de Sandoval. Berrios. No lo escucho. Berrios. Ok, so diga, I'm here. I'm here. <ríe> Excelente. Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here and I'm sorry I cannot use my uh, camera right now because I was not prepared for this. I'm using another computer today. Ok, but tomorrow... Yeah, tomorrow I assure you that I'll do it. Okay, excellent. Claudia Lorena Carcamo Argueta. Nope. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Excellent. Stefania Alexandra Aguilar. Wow, este apellido es nuevo para mí. Res, Respedes? Um, no, it's Céspedes. What is it? Céspedes. Well, Céspedes. Like Ah, yeah. Céspedes. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh, ok, entonces está mal escrito acá. Voy a, voy a comentar eso. Céspedes. Céspedes. Okay. ¿Es with an S o a C? Um, with a C. Sí, ok, excelente. So, Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Yes, I'm here. Excelente. Flor Hidalma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Oh, ok. Le escucho allá al fondo. ¿Qué? Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I am here. To... ¿Es Harvin correcto? Yes, es correcto. Okay. Bien, very good. Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. I'm here. Excellent. Juan José Ávalos Campos. I am here. Excellent. Yeah, with the camera, right? Que tienen problema. Um, Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here. Excellent. Kerry, Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. ¿No está? Le voy a preguntar si dije bien su nombre. I'm here. Oh, Kerry. Oh. <laughs> ¿El Kerry es correcto? Sí. Eh, yes. Necesito un nombre completo, please. Eh, Tiffany Rosales. No, pero... Ahí en, en su Zoom, si puede cambiar el nombre completo, please. En renombrar. Thank you. Okay. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. I'm here. 
I cannot activate my camera because I'm driving. Ok, y cuando termine de manejar también me cambia el nombre a full, please. Ok. Ok, pero ponga atención en el camino, no queremos una noticia después. <laughs> ok, don't worry. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here, teacher. Excelente. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla. Ciudad Real. Ciudad Real. I'm here. Yes, this is my really? Last name. Yo dije, le pusieron acá yeah. donde vive. No, it's your last name. Cool. Qué cool su last name. <ríe> so, Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. Tiene un montón de lugares a su nombre. I'm so, <ríe> Ruth Saraí <ríe> yeah. Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Very good. Uh, Ruth Noemi Sánchez Pérez. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Suleima Lisset Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. William Antonio Morales Mancia. I'm here. ¿Dónde está? Oh, ya lo vi. Okay, very good. Uh, Jessica... Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Yanari es correcto? Yes, teacher. Yanari. Okay. Bien, very good. Yanari. Yanari Cortés Díaz. Ok, very good. Y tengo a dos personas oyentes, Josué y Silvia, right? Yes. Ok, very okay. good. Excelente, excelente. Creo que, creo que los que están oyentes, no sé si te voy a pasar. I'm este. here. Ok, very good. So, ¿alguien más que esté que no he mencionado? Yes, my name is Claudia Marisela Solano Crespin. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespin. Yes, Claudia bueno. Marisela Solano Crespin. No me aparece en la lista, Claudia. Voy a preguntar cuál es el caso, ¿ok? Gracias, por favor. ¿Y usted le mandaron el correo, le mandaron las credenciales y todo? Sí, me mandaron el correo, las indicaciones, todo. Ok, voy a preguntar cuál es su caso, pero por el momento estamos bien así, ok? Excellent. Okay. So guys, I'm gonna switch to English and most of the class will be only in English because by this time, I suppose that everyone here speaks English because you're almost intermediate level. You're not basic one. You're not with the bird to be. You're not like I am uh, Pedro. I live in Sonsonate. You're not like that anymore. You are going to be intermediate, so your English level is different. So because of that, I need to speak more English and you need to speak more English. Again, it, Spanish will be used as the last resource. So only when you don't understand anything, we are going to use Spanish, right? Very good. Do you have any questions so far that I can answer? No. Nope. I have a question. Yeah, Silvia, tell me. Uh, why am I uh, solo escucho? Why? No, <laughs> you are like a listener. Let me ask uh, Inglés Corporativo why, but you are in the attendance. Usted está en la asistencia, no se preocupe por eso. You are in okay. the attendance, okay? okay? That is the most important thing. Okay, very good, Silvia. Uh, do you have any other questions? Nope. Excellent. Okay. For the people that are new and don't know how we work here. So basically this is like going to a classroom. Your attendance and your presence in the class is the 50% of the grade. So you have to be here. The second part is you need to complete the platform, right? We have some exercises in the platform. You were given, uh, I guess, uh, an email and well, you have your email, your us username, and you have a password and you have to get online like Inglés Corporativo and there's the platform and you will see Modulo Principiante or Principiante Modulo 6. You will see that there, you click on that and then you have the conferences. You will, you will see the classes there, like we record the classes. So you will see the classes there. And you also have some exercises. You have to complete all the exercises. And also you have their midterms and final exams. I believe you have two, 
you have a midterm and you have a final exams, you have to complete that so you can have a grade. You can do the exercise more than once, I believe. To, if, if you have a mistake, you can do it again. So your grade must be above the 80%, right? So eight is the less you can have, not less than eight. I always encourage my students to do it as many times as they can, so they can have a hundred, because it's better if you have a hundred in every single thing that you do, okay? Have you, like the new people, have you tried to log in into Inglés Corporativo's platform? Yes. So, yes. and you like going there and getting familiar with it, you will see how it works. It's super easy to use, super easy, right? Yeah. It's more complicated to use Facebook and we use it, right? So it's super easy. Excellent, guys. Or TikTok, that is the new one. Facebook teacher, that is old school. I don't know what is Facebook. TikTok is the new thing, right? So I'm going to start with the class. The topic we have for today is abilities so the things that you can do we're going to start uh, i don't know if you're familiar with zoom the new people the only the, the other ones i know you're familiar with zoom we are going to use a lot of breakout rooms do you know what is a breakout room right when you go so for the new people is when you go to a different room here for example you will have a video call like a private video call with only two, three, or five people. So you will have the time to work with your classmates. Imagine this is like when I send you to a group work in the classroom. Estamos en la clase y yo lo mando, vaya, fulanito va a trabajar con fulanito. So that is the deal. That is the stuff. So you have to click on there so to go to the breakup rooms. So, 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 I say a lot of so. Yo no sé por qué, pero digo un montón so. Ahí me disculpan, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna share my screen right now. So, you see, so. That's a muletilla in English that I have. Excellent. So we have this first, <laughs> that is questions. The first question we have here, can you read the first question, please, Floridalma? Um, your microphone is off. <laughs> okay. What are some of your abilities? Excellent, very good. Let's ask uh, Harbin, can you read the second one? Uh, your microphone is off too. Me? Harbin. Are you a fast learner? Are you a fast learner? Excellent, thank you very much, Harbin. Let me see, I have something in the chat. It's not just you, we are. Okay, está bien, thank you. Pero déjeme saber cuando esté en casa. Thank you for letting me know that, Josué. Okay, so the first question is, what are some of your abilities? These abilities can be technical abilities or can be artistical abilities, right? I don't have any artistical ability. I'm really bad at artistics. And technicals, I have some. So we're gonna try to see that. What are some of your abilities? Well, I have an ability. I can speak English and you can speak English a little bit, right? So that's an ability there. <laughs> are you a fast learner? Do you know the meaning of that question? Yes, teacher. What does it mean? It does mean that how fast you can learn something. Excellent. So how fast you can learn something. So for example, how long have you been learning English? How fast can you learn English? There are people who learn English in, I don't know, six weeks or six months. They are super, super smart. In my case, I learned English in six years because I was learning how to teach English, right? So I was learning how to speak and how to teach. So that was complicated. But yeah, so you will both be- Both things at the same time, teacher. What is it, Diana? Uh, both things at the same time. Yeah, I was learning. I didn't know how to speak English and I started to, to, to study how to teach English and I didn't know English. 
So, but yeah, I learned at the same time. I learned both things at the same time. Guys, um, the first thing is that you take a screenshot or if you can write the questions so we can go to the breakout rooms. So write the, write the questions down or I don't know, take a screenshot if you, if you want. And we're gonna talk about this. Here is a thing. When I send my students to breakout rooms, I don't like them being quiet or with the cameras off or with the microphones off and don't and not speaking. Like they just be like there. And when I go to the breakout room, se quedan como así. Si no hablo y si no me muevo, tal vez no me la teacher. Right? No. When I go to the breakout room, I want to see you and hear you speaking and practicing English because this is my time and I speak English. But when I send you to the breakout rooms, it's your time to shine. It's your time to speak, okay? So don't be quiet in the breakout rooms. Y aquí es una cosa. Si les pregunto, ¿ya terminaron? Did you finish? Nunca, never say yes. Never, never. Siempre digan, no, teacher, estamos practicando. Because if you tell me que ya terminaron, yo le voy a decir, ah, ya sabe, ya puede, ya todo lo domina del inglés. Okay, explíqueme esto. So never say yes. Always say, el ejercicio teacher, el ejercicio teacher, pero estamos practicando, right? The, uh, we finished the exercise, but we're practicing, right? We are always practicing. That's what I want you to do. Si voy a un break room y están callados, con las cámaras apagadas y los micrófonos apagados, aquí escrito en piedra, pásenme una piedra que lo escribo. Les voy a hacer que aquí en la clase principal hablen, expliquen, expongan o algo, porque significa que ya lo estamos dominando más. Cuando usted se calle es eso. Eh, Rolando, disculpe, tiene la palabra. Okay, how many time we will have for this activity? Five minutes. And how many times we will do? So how many times are you going to the breakout rooms? Yeah. So in this case, maybe two times, twice. And yes. for the, so twice. you will have like 10 minutes for the activity. So five okay. minutes in a breakout room, and then we go to another breakout room and five minutes with the other breakout room. Yes? Okay. Excellent, Thank very you. good, very good question. Excellent, very good. So I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms and I wanna hear everyone speaking. If you are in Principiante 6, it means that you can speak. Don't be like, no, teacher, ¿y cómo esto? Claro, voy a tener preguntas, but no tantas. So, let me see. I don't know. I don't know you guys, but <laughs> voy a intentar hacer lo que puedo con lo que tengo. Um, let's go to the breakout rooms. Recuerden, van a hacer las preguntas y speak as much as you can. I send you the invite. Si les envío las invitaciones ya. So check if you can. William, le llegó la invitación? Yes.
William. Hi. I'm sorry with my voice. I uh, I'm I'm I got a a flu. Um, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, but some of me is uh, I like to play basketball and and right now in I'm playing in a team in Santa really? Ana. I live in Santa Ana City. Yeah, we're so uh, far. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, I I start to play basketball. So we can make some mistakes and it's okay because it's part of the process. Yes, it's the process. Yes, uh, that the I'm afraid uh, to speak the, the, the English uh, for for this you you say uh, the, the mistake uh, but the other person and I have to to try to to understand another person. I imagine that because it really when you have to to have a lot of people working and you are teaching them. So there is ability multitasking. So all oh, we we are multitasking. multitasking. <laughs> yes. Last year. Wow, my yes. I have more, more than a year. One year. One year. Wow. <laughs> well, uh, I think so. My, I need to practice more English because it, I feel that it's difficult. Uh, and I feel that I can or I would like to practice more English, right? Uh, yeah. Because uh, all my job, uh, it was admin administrative. In your work is necessary because you talk with another person. Yeah, and yes. um, with, with the other person, people um the system that we hello Ruth what happened se me le desconectó el internet oh okay mire cuál es su nombre completo para ponérselo aquí de una vez en, en el nombre uh, Ruth Noemi Sánchez Pérez Ruth Noemi Sánchez Pérez Okay, déjeme ver aquí, que creo que igual lo tengo en la lista. Ruth, 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 Noemí, aquí está. Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Excelente. Ahorita vienen sus compañeros. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello again. How are you? Good. What's a very good time? What's a very good time? Yes. Yes. Excellent. I can feel. You can what? Yes, I, I like it so much. Yeah, you liked it? But yeah, I guess everyone likes to talk about the abilities they have. I guess you like that, right? So guys, I want to yeah. say congratulations because every breaker room I went to you were speaking no breaker room was quiet and I'm proud of that because I don't like when I see my students with the cameras off and the microphones off it's like this is your time to shine and you're not shining nah that is not <laughs> correct so I have a few observations here the first one is like some people were saying, hey, do you know this ability, multitasking? Yes, it's an ability. That's true. Multitasking is an ability. True. But it can be complicated. But some people can do it, right? Doing two things at the same time, it's multitasking. Then there was another breakout room where they were speaking about 
being afraid of making mistakes when speaking in English. So some people were like, yeah, but I'm afraid I'm gonna make a mistake if I speak in English, right? And I wanna say something here. The only person that can tell you something when you're speaking English in the class, it's me, right? And I'm gonna tell you something for your own, I don't know, learning process, okay? So when I tell you something, I'm not telling you, uy, like, así habla inglés, quien le fue su maestro antes. I don't care about that. <laughs> it's not none of, my, none of my business. So I'm here to guide you, okay? And maybe some of your classmates, because it happens, some of your classmates, maybe they know how to say something and they can help you. Everything here, always, always in my classes, Todos nos colaboramos, todos nos cooperamos. Nobody can say something bad about someone. Nadie va a decir algo malo de alguien más. No. Todos tenemos nuestra piedra donde tropezar con el inglés. My case, reading. Believe me. Have you ever heard about the TOEFL? The exam that we take, the TOEFL or the TOEIC? Yes. Reading, reading is my... So reading is my thing, I know. So everybody here will have something that is difficult for them. So we can help each other. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. When you're learning English, the first thing that you need to do is want to learn English. And the second thing that you need to do, perder el miedo a hablar. You don't have to be afraid of speaking, not at all. Because, ¿cómo creen que un niño de cinco, años, de, de cinco años, de cinco meses, o de seis meses, o de siete meses, empieza a hablar? O empieza a decir, papá, mamá, right? Ay, es que me da miedo, ¿y qué tal si no le digo papá a mi mamá o mi papá? No, qué pena, el niño no dice eso, ¿verdad? The kid is not like that. They are saying it, and they, they make mistakes, claro, si dicen cosas bien raras, baba en lugar de agua, right? Something like that. Pero usted le dice agua. Oh, y el niño va entendiendo agua, right? So it's the same with you guys. If you don't speak, you're not gonna learn. Y el consejo, porque tengo que pasar a la otra parte, el consejo que siempre les doy a mis estudiantes, se lo voy a decir en español ahorita, aprender inglés es como ir al gimnasio a perder peso. O, o ir a una maratón. Si a usted le dicen mañana, mire, vamos a correr una maratón de 20 kilómetros, está listo. Y usted va a estar como al kilómetro, Ay, pero es que ay, right, traía muriéndose con la lengua de fuera, right? So, pero si a usted le dicen con un año, digamos, de anticipación, el otro año en esta fecha va a haber una maratón, te vas a ganar mil dólares, dos mil dólares si la corres completa, right? ¿Qué va a hacer usted? Practicar ahí, entrenar, sentadillas, que ir a correr, que la dieta, que el no sé qué, right? Something that you will be practicing. Es lo mismo con el inglés. Teacher, pero yo no puedo pronunciar esta palabra. Claro, sus cuerdas vocales están acostumbradas a hablar ¿qué? Español. Español. Entonces, es normal que no la pueda pronunciar. Es muy normal. Pero ¿qué voy a hacer para que yo pueda pronunciarla? Decirla muchas veces para que mis cuerdas vocales se acostumbren a pronunciarla, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Y qué pasa de aquí a un año? El inglés va a ser better for you. And I know it's already good. Because he escuchado los, el inglés que tienen varias personas aquí, and it's good. Si su inglés no es bueno, y va a decir, no voy a hablar porque es que escuché aquella y qué bonito habla, y yo bien así, Sofía Vergara, no le importe. <risa> you don't have to care about that. No, que no le importe. Sofía Vergara es una de las latinas mejor pagadas que hay en Estados Unidos. Why? Porque ella no tiene miedo a hablar. She's not scared of speaking. Y una cosa le voy a decir, ella tiene muy buen uh, muy buena pronunciación, lo que tiene malo es el acento. Es, eso es algo que no nos podemos quitar. Por ejemplo, yo no puedo quitarme que soy del de Salvador y siempre voy a hablar como una persona salvadoreña. But the pronunciation can we mold, like can we fix? Okay, I'm sorry, we're not gonna do the other breakup room, but I'm gonna ask a few people what their abilities are. So, for example, let's go with cámaras apagadas. Dije ya que me da una cosita por preguntarle a las cámaras apagadas. So Y se empiezan a encender las cámaras. Ok, so let's go con Brenda. Can you tell me some of your abilities, Brenda? I read your mind. That's good. <laughs> yeah, ok. Some of my abilities are that uh, I'm not afraid of speaking. 
never afraid of speaking because as you say, I know that if we want to learn something, it doesn't matter what that thing is. We will always make mistakes because we are not perfect and we will never be perfect. Um, second thing is that um, I'm friendly and I am a helper person, if I can say that, because uh, if somebody needs my help, I can try to help them in the way they need. And another thing that I can tell you is uh, I'm a quick learner, especially languages. <laughs> I can see that, Brenda. Yeah. <laughs> so that are um, those of my abilities. Excellent. Do you do you speak another language besides English? Um, I'm learning, but uh, I'm not good at all yet. <laughs> okay, but you you have a really good English so far. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> Thank Very you. good. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. That was really good. Let's go. And you guys, if you don't like, no, es que Brenda ya habló bien y me va a preguntar a mí. No, don't, you don't care about that. You speak as you can speak. That is okay. Let's go with Harbin. Okay, teacher. One of my abilities I, I have to be multi, multitasking. I have to do a lot of things all day. I was tell us of my partner. I have to have a lot of things in my mind. So this is one of my ability too. I have a good memory. You have a good? And that's at all. Memory. Oh, excellent. Well, that's an excellent ability. Let me tell you, Harvey, use, sometimes. Use for, my, for what? Use for my job. Ah, oh, just for your job, yeah. Because sometimes <laughs> I'm, I'm here in my bedroom and I'm like, I need to go to the kitchen because I need a spoon. And then when I get to the kitchen, I'm like, what? <laughs> what am I doing? Right? Uh, so, yeah, having a good memory is an ability. <laughs> Thank you, Harvin. Let's go with Katia Margarita. Hi. Hi. Mm, my abilities I am a friendly person. And I am multitasking in work because I am a cashier. And I am trying and, and always help uh, people. I choose a, a closest. Closest? The, I, um, I work in, in Slavarius Galerias. Uh-huh. So I, I help the people to choose a, a outfit or... Oh, wedding galerias, did you say? Stradivarius. Stradivarius, yeah. I know what yeah. Stradivarius is. Okay, so, well, good, good clothes, guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, Katia. So you like to help people with the outfits? Yes. You have a good eye for outfits? <laughs> yes. Maybe, oh. maybe one day I will go, Katia, because my outfits are like a safe box like a safe so como una caja fuerte nadie sabe la combinación solo yo right so it's, okay. it's something like that <laughs> very good katia excellent very good let's go with one more person hmm let me see oh yeah cameras off right no but stefania is driving she told me juan jose well juan jose let's go i'm gonna hear you okay um my Ability in this moment, I think that it's not ability from um, about the sport. In this moment, no. Uh, I think my, my name's ability are um, to learning uh, software uh, because I, I teach in many, many things. Um, for example, I, I teach about AutoCAD or Excel of software uh, with uh, Epanet, for example, for to teach uh, hydraulic. Um, I don't know is is say hydraulic um, like hydraulic. Yeah. So okay. so you have like hydraulic. technical abilities, right, Juan Jose? Yes, many many technical. Let abilities. me ask you something, uh, Juan Jose. Are you really good at Excel? Yes, yes, wow. I try. I, I, there, there are many, many uh, things about Excel that I don't know, but um, uh, you never think that uh, everything to know. 
Always are you learning? Always are you you're, learning? Yeah, you're, you're but, always learning. But uh, I like to learn um, each more, each more to learn. Uh, many things, many things. In this moment, I am to learning about the um, DGPS. I don't know if you know what is the DGPS. Uh, I don't think I know. It's for two localization. Okay. Uh, in the heart. In the uh, heart. In the heart, in the in the tierra, in the uh, okay. topographer. No. For topographer. No, no, uh, I, don't know. I don't know. I know English. Uh, I can speak English. <laughs> Okay, but I, I think that in many uh, to speciality uh, about my about the things I teach, mm -hmm. I try to learn each more. Uh, but uh, for for example, I say to my partner uh, about um, ten years ago, uh, I play football. I'm very good, but football or now, soccer? Soccer, soccer, soccer. soccer. Football is soccer, soccer. Football is uh, but, American one, right? Yes, yes, soccer. But in this moment, only watch. The you only watch football, soccer. I mean soccer. <laughs> okay. Soccer and to, to volleyball because my daughter playing volleyball. Oh and my I'm God, Juan Jose, you have a lot of abilities. Yes, I I am three daughters. You have three daughters, so yeah, you have to be like multitasking as well, right? With three with three daughters, yeah, multitasking. Thank you very my, much. My oh. my oldest, John. Uh -huh. My my oldest daughter is um thirty four years old. Thirty. Forty forty uh, thirty four. Thirty four years old. Yes. Wow, she's older than me. Okay. <laughs> well. Well, that's okay. My, that's my okay. youngest, my youngest is uh, twenty-three. Yeah, three, she's younger than me. She's younger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, very good. Thank you, Juan Jose. Thank you for sharing your abilities with us. Yeah, he has like a lot of abilities, you guys. Like, yeah, <laughs> very good. Okay, guys. So far, I like this group. I like this group. They, you speak a lot. You speak a lot of English. So I'm happy with that. I'm really happy. Miguel, you sent me a message, right? That you're having problems with your internet. Yes, teacher, but I I have I have a problem with my internet in my home. Okay. But oh. it's it's okay. It's okay right now. Okay, okay. It's it's okay. Thank you for letting Thank me you. know, Miguel. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, let's go with the next part because yeah, <laughs> time me come el tiempo, yeah, right? So time time's up. I have to go with the other activities. Okay, let's me share my screen with you. This is in your um, platform. If you go to Inglés Corporativo's platform, you will see this there. So I'm going to go with the conversations. The conversations, I always read the conversations two times, twice, right? So I read the conversations twice. The first time that I read the conversation is for pronunciation. So I'm going to read it slow. And the second time I read the, 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 the conversation is for intonation so with feeling that's another thing that i need from you guys so when you speak in english i don't want to be like hello ben and welcome my name is andrea rivera andrea rivera nice to meet you mr rivera we're offering a manager position like not like that guys you're not reading you're not it's not like me está leyendo las reglas de, 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 de convivencia no Oh my God, is this is about feeling. Try to put your feelings on this. Like, oh, cuando usted habla, si yo voy a algún lugar donde usted vaya, le, me va a decir, hola, teacher, mucho gusto de conocer. Mucho gusto también de conocerle a usted. ¿Cómo ha estado? Bien, yo he estado bien. ¿Y usted? No, you don't speak like that in Spanish. So put your feelings in English. Let's go. First time pronunciation, second time intonation. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is, remember, it's my name is, it's not together, so you know, it's my names. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are, guys, esa R que, se so, que sea suave, R, R. Aquí termina en el paladar, R. We yeah. are offering a manager position for a branch in you can say honduras or you can say honduras 
both are correct. People in English say Honduras, but you know how to speak Spanish, so you say Honduras. What qualifications, qualifications do you have, have, remember? I don't know if you already know this, but when you're saying this letter in English, have is labio dental. So it has to be have, have. Don't say have, no, have, have, right? Um, have for this job. Well, I can speak English. Also, I, well, I have a question for you. So for example, Diana, how do you say this word? Speak. Very good, excellent. How, let's go with Anna Elizabeth. How do you say this word? Word, I mean. Speak. Speak, very good, excellent. Oh my God, guys, you're really good at this. Because some people say speak, and you don't have to say that E at the beginning of the word, that E. Speak, no, speak. School, school, just the sound of the S. Very good, you did it good. Maybe you can teach me English later, later right? Um, also, I can manage, manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using, using spreadsheets? Spreadsheets. Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets. But I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Qué galán que así fueron las entrevistas de trabajo. Oh my God. So, I'm going to read it now with intonation. Hello, Ben, and welcome. I have a question. Dígame, Katia, tell me. Uh, what is a spreadsheet? Spreadsheets. So, for example, that is with Excel. So, like, las hojas de Excel. Okay. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Thank Katia. You. Ruth? Uh, that, that's the, the same question. That oh, the same I... question? Spreadsheets? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Spreadsheets. Um, okay, let's go with the intonation. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets. But I'm a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay, you see, you put some feeling on it. So for example, I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets, but I am a fast learner, right? So the feeling there. Guys, before we continue, I'm sorry, I need to go with the attendance. Remember, the cameras must be on and your full names as you have them in the DUI, okay? Ana Beatriz, remember, I'm here. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz, Yes. Here, okay. Yes, here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Brenda Erlinda Sainz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. I'm here. Excellent. Flor Idalma Ramirez Calderon. I am here. 
Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I am here. Jennifer Gisela Lopez Sanchez. I'm here. Bien. Um, Juan José Avalos Campos. I am here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. Yes, I'm here. Kat, no, Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. I'm here. Very good. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. No. Okay. Uh, Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here, teacher. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla Ciudad Real. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. <laughs> Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Excellent. Ruth Noemi Sánchez Pérez. I'm here. Excellent. Suleima Lisette Méndez Romero. No? I'm here, teacher. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I had some problems. <laughs> Excellent. William, William, William. Antonio Morales Mancia. I'm here. Excellent. Que ronca, se le escucha la voz. Yes, I got through. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. I'm here. Excellent. Y tenemos Josué Fraín en Silvia María, right? I'm here. Excellent. Very good. ¿Alguien que no me haya mencionado yo? Quiero ver el chat. Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Oh, Merlin. Merlin, no. Merlin, 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 Merlin. Ya, yeah, mencioné su nombre, pero you didn't listen, I, I guess. Uh, Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Yes. Excellent, very good. Uh, she's driving, maybe. Yeah, I think she's driving. Okay. And me, um, teacher, sorry, and me, Claudia Maricela Solano Crespi. No, es, eh, usted es la que me dijo, ¿verdad? Que no aparecía en asistencia. Sí, yeah. eh, esto lo voy a solucionar mañana cuando las oficinas oh. de inglés corporativo estén para que yo pueda pues, arreglarle su problema, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ok, Thank very you. good, excellent. So, that's it. Very good. So now, guys, I'm going to read the conversation one more time and I'm going to ask some people to help me. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. Uh, we are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras, or in Honduras. You can say Honduras, porque a veces suena mejor cuando uno está hablando en inglés, decirlo así, I don't know why. We're offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects. And, I'm, and I am very good at sales. So I make an emphasis here. I'm very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets. But I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay. So uh, I will need the help of Ruth, Noemi, and, 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 and Rolando, Antonio. Okay. So instead yeah. of saying, you can say the name of the person instead of Ben and, and, and Mr. Rivera, but that's okay. You can say that. Okay. I'm Ben. Yeah, you can, no, yeah, you, you are Ben and Ruth will be Andre. Okay. Ruth, when you're ready. <laughs> Guys, if you. Sería Andre. Yeah. Yeah, so start here. Ruth, I cannot hear you. Hola. Le escucho al fondo. 
a little bit. Um, Let's go with this. The hello team. I welcome. Yo creo que está teniendo problemas con el internet, ¿verdad, Ruth? Se escucha al fondo. Yeah, I think you're having problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but that's okay. Don't worry. Maybe tomorrow you won't have problems. Let's go with... So, okay, so let's go with oh. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz will be Ben, and then with always, like, uh, Rolando, okay? So... Rolando, start. No, you start. Okay, hello Ben and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Uh, your microphone is off, Rolando. Okay, nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak. You move. Sorry. <laughs> well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small projects. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak I can speak little Chinese but I can't use spreadsheets, but I'm a faster learner. I get it. When can you start? Tomorrow. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent, that's the attitude, right? Tomorrow, I'm free tomorrow, right? Even in El Salvador, right? It's hard to get a job, so whenever you say, you want me to start now? I can start now if you want, right? Yes. <laughs> very good, guys. Good job. I like it. Very good, Anna. Very good, Rolando. Thank okay. you. Um, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms to practice this conversation. Again, do you have questions with pronunciation that I can help you with? Nope. Is it clear? Excellent. Oh, my God, guys. I'm feeling so happy to have a group that can be so, right, like, and you can participate in and stuff like that. Very good. I like that. So let me see. Okay, I'm gonna send you, but only one person I think cannot participate in this. That she told me she was driving. Let me see who's the person who's driving. It's Stephanie. It's Stephanie. It's Stephanie. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's go with the people that have three in the breakup rooms. Maybe you can, I don't know, some take turns. Okay, let's go. Five minutes. So 9.17, we're back. Stephanie, are you still driving? Yes, um, actually, I, I'm still driving right now. Okay, it's okay. It's sure. Okay. Yeah. Merlin, um, you don't have a group? Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. I continue driving, uh, and sometimes I have issues with my internet. Okay, so it's okay, guys. Meanwhile, your classmates are in the breakout rooms. Let's just stay here, and when they come back, we continue, okay? Okay, don't worry. Thank you so much. That's that's fine, guys. It's okay. So Stefania and Merlin will stay here. Very good.
Hello. Hello, what is the problem? Uh, we didn't find the conversation teacher. Okay, let me, let me share with you. Okay, y todos me están preguntando allá. <laughs> so nobody took a screenshot. Oh my goodness. Okay, there. Thank you. Okay, okay thank you. Okay. Carrie, mm -hmm. uh, do you want to be Andre or Ben? Andre. Okay. Okay. I, I can start? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Ah! What? <laughs> okay. No, no but I, but tome la captura. Tome la captura. No, I, I took the screenshot. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Yeah, you can share your screen. Usted puede compartir su pantalla. Okay. ¿Ya vio dónde? Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm... It's Excellent. loading. Excellent. Okay. Share screen. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is... Hello, welcome back. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Excellent, guys. So I'm just waiting for the other ones to come here. Okay. So uh, I didn't have the time to go to all the breakup rooms. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, to the ones that I went, it, it was good, the pronunciation. Just try, and this is for everybody, like try to put that feeling on the conversation because it's the same like when you're speaking Spanish, you don't speak like you're a robot. You speak like with the feeling, you speak like that, right? Only if you're boring, you're bored, I mean, you're bored, you will be like, yeah, I don't know, right, right, something like that. But speak as you are in the conversation. This is called role play. Do you know what is a role play? Yeah, okay. So I think like most of you know what a role play is. So role play is when you put yourself or you place yourself in the situation and in the place of the people that are involved in the conversation, right? Very good. Um, now we're gonna go with another topic that is how to talk about education, okay? So for example, have you ever wondered how to say, soy licenciado en mercadeo, o soy licenciado en administración de empresas? In English? Do you know how to say that in English? No. Yes? No. Yes, who say yes? No. Me, teacher. Jennifer, okay, tell me. 
Well, I have a bachelor degree in public accounting. In public accounting, bachelor degree? Excellent, yeah. very good. Bachelor degree in public accounting. You see, she did it good. Right now, I'm gonna ask you to give me sentences like that. And she did it good. It's like, I have a bachelor degree in public accounting from the university of what? Universidad del Salvador. So <laughs> from the- In 2016. From you, so you can say from El Salvador University, maybe. Um, so you can say I like say, this, I have, I have a bachelor degree in public accounting, you say? Yes. So I have a bachelor degree in public accounting from the University of El Salvador. Yeah, I have a little, bit, a little question about that because when I say University of El Salvador, uh, one teacher told me that it's not okay because it's a, like a name. Uh, we can change names. Universidad so, del Salvador, yeah. Yes, yes, that is okay. And I understand what the teacher said, but you are not changing the El Salvador. You're just changing the name of the university, right? Y las universidades aquí no se llaman universidad del no sé qué, sino que universidad es parte del título de la universidad. La Universidad del Salvador se llama El Salvador, del Salvador, right? So, for example, en Estados Unidos hay mm, universidades del estado de no sé qué. Entonces, University of Minnesota, University of Los Angeles, something like that, ¿ok? Es ok si usted lo dice como university, porque lo estamos dando el título en inglés, pero también si lo dice en español es correcto porque es un nombre propio. Yo entiendo ambas. Ambas formas son correctas desde mi perspectiva. Ok. Ok. Thanks. Ok. Very good. And you can say El Salvador's University or University of El Salvador. That both are correct. For me, the both are correct. Ok. So, guys, yes, like Jennifer said, bachelor degree. Yeah, that's one. That's one, but there are like a couple here that I wanna say. So let me share with you my screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Because there are different titles, right? So the first one, let me do this bigger here. So the first one is BA or bachelor degree. You can say bachelor degree or BA. BA means this, look. Bachelor of Arts. So for example, your career has to be with this, Bachelor of Arts. Usually the Bachelor of Arts are four years educational in the university. So you, you go to the university for four years, okay? Then we have the MBA. Does someone know what an MBA is? Master in, business, master in business administration. Like, yeah, I knew that everyone wanted to speak. Sylvia, you wanted to say something too? It's just master degree. <laughs> yeah, it's a master degree, yes, but it's master of business administration. That is correct. Master. So, for example, si usted estudió uh, es? administración de empresas, you can say MBA, master of business administration. I'm sorry guys, yo tengo algo como que dislexia. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. Uh, in my case, I can say I'm an industrial engineer or so, I have to use a bachelor degree of industrial. You can say, <laughs> you can say industrial engineer because that's your title. But if yeah. you want to say that education that you went through, you can say a bachelor okay. in uh, industrial engineering. engineering. Engineering, yes. Very good. Like I like that career, Sylvia. It's, it's, it's a really good career. I have a question. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, in my case, I am an electronic technician. Okay. How can uh, tell about my um, uh, so you uh, can career. so you are a technician in that yeah. case i think you can say ma ma bachelor of arts 
but let me um let me look for it because I know there's like a special, special term they have for technicals. They have something special, but let me look for it. Maybe I will have for you an answer later today or tomorrow, okay, Rolando? Because there is a special title for that. Did you study, how many years did you study? Uh, two, two years. So yeah, years. it's like a technician, yes. I, it, it is like a technician degree. I will look for it. Okay, um, let me see. This is Bachelor of Science. So maybe if you studied something related with science and this is an MA. Do you know what is an MA? It's Master of Arts. Arts. Yes. So this is the Bachelor of Arts. This is like when you have a bachelor degree. This is the Bachelor of Arts. And when you have a master, you have a master of arts in the specific area that you will see. So for example, I can have a bachelor of arts in English and I can have a bachelor of arts in linguistics, right? So it's always related with English, but in this case will be in linguistics. And last but not least, this is one of the most important ones. You can have a PhD. Do you know what is a PhD? I don't know the, the translation, but I know this is it's, 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 it's the top. <laughs> yeah, but someone say the name. Can, can you say it again, please? Doctorado? Yes, it's phys, physic, no, physics doctorate, but you can say it like this. It can be a doctoral degree, okay? So it's okay. like the master the master of the master, right? Like a doctoral degree. It's different from medicine. Let me tell you that. It's different from medicine. So the doctors, they have an MD. So it's medical doctor, okay? Medical doctorate, MD. That is when he's a doctor. But in the PhD, it's like people who studied more about their career. This is not for doctors that you find in the hospital. That is an MD medical doctorate. The PhD is for doctorates in, in a specific area, okay? And the, do, and the PhD, you can be awarded with a PhD. So it can be a prize. So puede ser un premio, awarded, a PhD. That university will give it to you, okay? Um, maybe I, maybe we can look for about something about this in, in, in in Google or something about that. I'm, I'm gonna look for it because this topic is just like for you to have an idea. But <laughs> me está comiendo el tema y se me olvida el tema principal de here. So we, you were talking about abilities, right? You were talking about abilities. But what is the main topic? Can you remind me of the main topic for today with abilities? Okay. Use of can and can't. Use of can and can't. It's very important when you use can or can't to be making an emphasis in the pronunciation. Can, you. can't, can, can't, right? You have to pronounce the T when it's a negative statement, right? Yes? Excellent. So let me share my screen with you to talk about that topic. Teacher, I have yeah. a question. Yep. Is it okay if I say I had a bachelor, a bachelor of law? Or you have a bachelor degree in law. Bachelor degree in law. Mm -hmm. Or it's correct if I say I'm a lawyer. Yeah. Anna, when you say I'm a lawyer, you're talking about your profession. But when you say your yes. bachelor degree, you talk about your education. Okay. Okay. So for Thank example, you. in my case, I have a bachelor of arts or a bachelor degree in English, but I am a teacher, right? So that is the situation there. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. different, my profession and my education. Let's go here. It's here, very good. So can and can't. We use can and can't to talk about abilities. What I can do, or what I can't do. So when you are talking about abilities, this is the best formula that you will have, okay? 
The first thing here is that you need a subject. As always in English, most of the time, in case, only when we're, when we're using imperatives, it's different. Do you know what are imperatives? No? You don't know what an imperative verb is? Should? Imperatives are like following instructions. Let me explain this to you. This is out of the topic. This is out of the topic, have but I'm to. gonna, what is it? Have to. have to. Have to, yeah, have to can be an imperative, but look at this, look at, uh, I'm gonna, I mean, pay attention to this. So in English, different than in Spanish, okay? When you um, are talking about something, when you're saying a sentence or something, you need the subject. You, almost all the time, you need the subject. In Spanish, it's different because in Spanish, we have something that is called sujeto tacito, uh, right? Uh, and the sujeto tacito, tacito means that, miren, ya no puedo hablar español. The sujeto tacito is that no tengo que decir el sujeto, ya está implícito en la oración. Voy a comprar. I don't say yo voy a comprar, right? But in English, I have to say, I am going shopping. I cannot say going shopping. Going shopping? No, nah, doesn't make sense. I'm going shopping. I, me, this person here. So in English, you have to always say the subject. ¿Cuál es el sujeto de mi oración? Right? A excepción de los imperatives. The imperatives are following orders or following instructions. For example, when you're cooking and there's a recipe, it, it, it is not possible to have like all the subjects. You cut the onions, you uh, boil the water, you place the chicken, you, it's not like that. It says cut the onions, boil the water, um, place the chicken, right? Do you get it like there? You only say the verb with oh, the imperatives. Yes. And it's for instructions or for uh, recipes, something that you have to follow, right? But right now, what I'm explaining here, out of the topic I was, okay, so here is that you need the subject. You need the subject. Then you need can. It is different because sometimes when you have the third person, you need to change the verb because you need the S and stuff. But with the auxiliary verbs or the modal verbs, you don't need that. You write the verb as it is. So for example, I can, I don't know, the ability, that is the verb there, dance and a compliment, salsa, maybe. I cannot, I wish, I can't, but I can dance salsa. This is just an example. Then, for example, we're talking about he. This is not correct. No, no, no. The verb needs to be like that all the time. He can, right? You don't need the S. So he can, I don't know, cook very good. Okay? He can cook very good. Now, with the negative statements, the only thing that we do is we add not. And you can add it like this, like the whole thing. You can say can not, or you can say simply like can't. You can only yeah. say can't but be careful guys because sometimes when people are speaking it can be like can 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 and you don't hear the difference so this one has to be pronounced like can't the little bit of air that comes out of your mouth can't 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 so let's do the same one but negative negative i can't dance salsa right i can't then salsa i can then salsa i can't then salsa right let's do the other one he can't cook very good okay he can't cook very good he can't cook very good okay yes is it understood or understandable yep or not 
It's yes. super easy to do. You only need the model verb. And this is something that I always tell my students. Be grateful that you were born, <laughs> you were born not, that you learned to speak Spanish when you were little. Because learning Spanish as a second language, super difficult. It's better to learn English as a second language. The problem with English is the pronunciation because, for example, teacher, pero por qué door se dice door, pero good se dice good. Si la dos tienen el dos o, right? That's something about phonetics. That is the complicated thing with English. But it's very easy because, for example, this I can, you can, she can, he can, we can, they can, you can. Everything is with can, right? But in Spanish, yo puedo, tú puedes, ella puede. Ya tenemos tres formas del verbo. Nosotros podemos, ellos pueden. Right? Tú puedes. It's, it's, it's so complicated. You have to learn different forms for the same verb. Also, in English, the table, the computer, the, ca the camera, um, the notebook, the phone. So it's super easy. But in Spanish, femeninos. Masculinos, neutros. Um, eh, bueno, no tenemos tantos neutros, no. Solo femeninos, masculinos. And then we have plurals. Then we have singulars, right? So, el teléfono. Los teléfonos. Pero, ¿y qué pasa con las palabras ambiguas? Como el agua. Pero no podemos decir les aguas o los aguas. Decimos las aguas. El agua, las aguas. ¿Qué? What? So, it's, it's really difficult to learn Spanish. So be grateful that you're learning English and not Spanish because it's difficult, guys, right? So now you can do this. Send me some examples to the chat. want to see. Send me one example affirmative and one example negative. Something you can do and something you can't do, okay? I'm going to be waiting. Guys, when you send me the examples to the chat, please choose Inglés Corporativo para que solo me caigan a mí. So, I'm the only one who sees the examples. Okay? Just two examples, really quick. Nothing else. Oh, I can speak English very well. If you can, guys, send both examples together. Because when you're writing, like, all the chats go for me. Like, I can see many chats. So if you send separated your answers, it will be like one there and the other one, like, way down. So send them together, joined. Can you hear the gecko? No? No, no, no. I wanted you to hear him. He can speak English. He does he does like this in English. You know that <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that like while well, you send me the answers. Um I, I told you I'm not from San Salvador, I'm not from I don't know where you're from, guys. I think we have people from Sonsonate, San Salvador, Santa Ana. What else? Santa Tecla, La Libertad. Well, Santa Tecla, La Libertad, obviamente. Um, well, I think we have people from all, all those places. But do we have people from Oriente here? No? And am I the only one? You're the only one. <laughs> yes, Jan Jessica, you are from Oriente? Yes. But do you live in Oriente? No. I live in San Juan Opico. Oh, okay. So, but where from Oriente are you from? Uh, I'm from San Rafael Oriente, San Miguel. Really? My mom worked yes. there. Really? Yeah, but I'm not from San Miguel. I'm from Usulután. Right? City. Yeah, Shulton <laughs> City. Yes. But guys, listen to this. This is something I just want to say mientras me envían sus examples. It's difficult. People said that 
Mira, la gente dice que hablamos con la J aquí en Oriente, que se escucha bien marcada, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. Pero todo, todo el mundo en El Salvador hace eso. Believe me. Cuando estoy en clases y me dicen las respuestas, y yo, ¿las respuestas? ¿Las re ¿No son las respuestas? Las respuestas. You will see everyone, everyone in El Salvador. Todos. Tal vez los chapetones no, pero yeah, you'll do it. Tan marcado como San Miguel, no. Pero sí, se dice. La cuestión es que eso no es la gran cosa. La gran cosa es <ríe> cómo se dicen las cosas aquí y cómo se dicen las cosas allá. Por ejemplo, para ustedes, ¿qué es una paila? Un plato, a plate. Es a little play. A plate. Jessica, ¿qué es una paila? El guacal. Un guacal, chiquito o grande. Yes. La paila depende. La paila, la paila. sí, miren. La señora que anda vendiendo, anda vendiendo con paila. Pero la, la pailota. Ya es la pailota, la paila. Paila para mí es una paila grande. So, si yo voy a un cumpleaños en San Salvador y me dicen, te voy a dar un poquito de pastel, trae una paila. <risa> right? So it's different. So for example, another thing that you call the chicotes, the, those ones that, that come out of with the rain, we call them yes. molongotes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and for example, with the geckos, we don't yes. call them that. We call them bebe leches. <laughs> so it's different. I don't know. Like it's it's. I learned that like teaching while I'm while I have been teaching is like teacher. How do you say this? And I'm like, yeah, I know now how to say these things because I know people that live in San Salvador and Santa Ana and stuff. But in Oriente, books. In Usulután, we say the things different, so I don't know. I, I just thought that was interesting to, to, to know. <laughs> yeah. Un topollillo. No. Es que el Salvador es charamusca. Ah, charamusca. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Really? No, no idea. No idea. La guachuma. La piscucha. What? Oh my God. This is, you see, even in a country, like, un país tan pequeño como nosotros, and we have those differences. Pero por qué les quería decir esto? Why? Let me explain to you. So when you go to the United States or to other countries, you will hear, some, hear something that is called free variation. Okay? Se llama variación libre. Free variation. That means that sometimes you're going to hear a word pronounced differently. So, for example, water, it's in English from the United States. What water or something like that is in British. Water, something like that. I don't, I can do the British accent. But for example, I traveled to the United States like in 2016, 2017, and I was living in a place called Minnesota. Minnesota is close to, to Canada, right? Do you know what is a bag? Do you know the meaning of a bag? Bag. Mm -hmm. B-A-G? Yeah. B-A. Yeah, B-A-G. So bag. Something, or for example, when you go to the supermarket, you have a bag to place your yes. things, right? So I went to Minnesota and I say, hey, you know, I need a bag. They were like, what? I was like, I need a bag. A what? And you go, I mean, a thing to put things inside. Something, right? <laughs> and they were like, oh, you mean a bag. And I was like, a bag? Pero como suplicar? Bag yeah. is suplicar. So bag? And then it was like, okay, okay, a bag. So I need a bag. The months go by. So for example, five months later, I go to Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Los Angeles. Then I went there and I asked this person, a cashier, right? So can I have a, can I have a bag? And she was like, a what? And I was like, a bag. Can I have a bag, please? And she was like, what is a bag? <laughs> a bag is a thing to put things inside. Again. And she was like, oh, you mean a bag? I was like, what? <laughs> what? Can you can you be clear? Is a bag or a bag? Bag or bag? And it's different. So this is, I'm telling you this because if you have the experience to talk to different people from 
the United States or from Australia and then from Britain, I mean, England, you will hear difference in the accents and even how they call things, okay? Because biscuit is a cookie. So British biscuit, English from uh, United States, cookie. So these different things, okay? So I'm just, I just wanted to tell you that. Okay, I see your examples. They are good. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to do something. Guys, if you can go to the platform on English Corporativo's platform, you will see there that you have the manual, okay? So if you can download it or use it online to practice more than what we are looking here at in the classes. So with that that I taught you about Ken and Kent, let me share my screen with you because we're gonna complete this exercise here. Let me right there. Okay, so we have this exercise is the number five. So complete the sentences with the appropriate, appropriate form of can. I'm sorry, I, what do you think it is? Can or can't? Can't. Can't. Can't, can't, can't. right? I'm sorry, yeah. I can't help you today. I'm really busy. I'm really busy. Okay, I'm gonna give you a minute to complete this. Maybe just write the answers one, can, two, blah. Okay, and then I'm gonna ask you to say the complete sentence, okay? I'm gonna give you a minute to complete them. What happened? Why are you sorry? Um, right now I use in my smartphone. Oh, okay. And I can answer this, this exercise because I don't have the computer next to me. It's okay, uh, Rolando, it's okay. Uh, you have to write it on a piece of paper. You don't have to send it to me. The, you have to be able, to, if I ask you to say the number two, you have to be able to say it. Uh, sorry, I don't understand. Please, okay, please. Solo voy, solo es, uh, I'm just asking you to write it in a piece of paper if you can. So if oh, I okay. ask you to tell me the sentence number two, you can say it. Okay, okay. Okay. okay, I will, I will answer. Okay, this is just like that. So, because I'm going to ask you guys to say it. Teacher, is that the student's manual P6? Yeah. Yes. Oh, but I can't find the page. Which page is? The page is number 10. 10. Mm. But my manual, oh, 10, you say right. Unit one. Yeah. You go here. Unit one. Jobs list. Ah, okay. I found it. Oh, thank guys. You. Yeah. Thank you, Diana. Actually, guys, if you have this, you can go to unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four to to to, to find the units quickly. If you we go have like to download this, this, this manual. If you can do it. If you cannot, just use it online. Okay. I have students that even print it. Some students print it. And I have another question. Yeah. Uh, you're going to tell us when we how to do the task on the platform or how does it work? Excellent question. So for me, it's like the class you see, the class you do. So for example, the class you see, the exercise you do, but here's the deal. If you go ahead and do more exercises that, than the classes I give, that is okay. I'm never going to tell you like, no, porque va tan adelantada. That's okay. Teacher Miria termina la plataforma. 
Perfect, excellent. Give her an applause. I'm gonna say like, yeah, miren tal persona terminó. Excellent, right? But if you are behind what I'm teaching, si está atrás de lo que voy enseñando, nope, that doesn't work like that, okay? Okay. Excellent. So let's go with this. I have a question first. Yeah, Brenda, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the, the, I want to know where's the paper that you are using because I don't have that. You don't have the manual that I'm using? No, okay. I didn't get it. So let me teach you guys when you can find it. Do you have the platform? Have you tried to log, log in in the platform? Yes. Okay, so let me teach you. So when you log in, this will appear to you. So aquí me parecen todos los cursos que he enseñado, but that's okay. So this is you, okay? Inglés presidente módulo 6, so you go here. And then here you will see course, discussion, progress, students manual P6. So you click there. And there it is. Oh, thank you. And if you want to go to the unit that I'm teaching, you go here. Look, unit one, job listings. Like that. Mm -hmm. And you will see what I'm teaching right there. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Excellent. <laughs> no, it's okay. Thank you for your question. Actually, it's good for the other people so they know where to find it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I have a problem with the protocol. Okay. Because I, I can see all the course that I didn't did, but okay. I can see the, the oh, I don't know, the principle six. You cannot find your course? No. Mm, that is hard thing. Okay. So, déjeme escribir una cosa que tengo que decir mañana. <laughs> Okay, lo voy a reportar, Harvey. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Um, guys, uh, I have to stop here because I need to tell you something before we continue. Um, tengo la lista para quienes ya han estado antes en este curso, saben que tenemos una participación de 10 a 10 y 10, ¿verdad? donde yo voy a estar con algunas personas de ustedes en privado, porque si tienen preguntas, es un momento de decir las preguntas. Entonces, eh, esta es una sesión irregular, porque no vamos a ir con, con el lesson que tengo hoy, pero sí vamos a, a, a clarificar todo esto. Tengo personas, una persona se va a quedar conmigo por día. ¿Ok? So, al final de la clase, usted tiene 10 minutos conmigo para preguntarme lo que sea con respecto a inglés para preguntarme lo que sea con respecto a lo que hemos enseñado o cualquier duda que usted tenga con respecto al inglés. A veces los estudiantes me vienen con preguntas de, mire, teacher, pero ¿y por qué así? ¿Por qué no así se dice? Y no, podemos discutir eso también, pero principalmente lo que hemos visto en clases. ¿Ok? So, les voy a dar la planificación de cómo están sus horarios. So, el día de hoy se queda conmigo Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Ok. Ok, bien. So, okay. Vamos a estar 10 minutos, ella lo que quiera preguntar, eso, los demás se salen de la clase cuando yo diga y ella se queda conmigo ahí en privado. Les voy a dar la calendarización de los demás para que pongan atención y noten sus fechas. Ana Elizabeth Berrío de Sandoval, miércoles 12. I mean, perdón, 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 vamos a ir 13 porque perdimos una fecha. Ok, olvídenlo, olvídenlo. Vamos a ir una fecha adelante. Okay. So, jueves 13, Ana Elizabeth. Brenda Erlinda, viernes 14. Claudia Lorena Cárcamo, lunes 17. Diana Yesenia, martes 18. Estefanía Alexandra, miércoles 19. Flor Hidalma, jueves 20. Harvin Isaac, viernes 21. Jennifer Gisela, lunes 24, Juan José Ábalos, martes 25, Katia Margarita, miércoles 26, Kerry Tiffany, jueves 27, Merlin Lisbeth, viernes 28, 
Miguel Ángel Centeno, lunes 31. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, martes 1 de junio. Ruth Saraí, miércoles 2 de junio. Eh, espérame, 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 espérame. Ruth Noemí, jueves 3 de junio. Suley Malicet, viernes 4 de junio. William Antonio Morales Mancilla, lunes 7 de junio. Y Jessica Yanari, martes 8 de junio. ¿Ok? Yes. Ok. Este día yes. que les mencioné, okay. usted guarda ahí preguntitas que no me puede hacer en clases o algo, porque ahí vamos a tener, esto lo hacemos, porque, por ejemplo, cuando estamos en clases presenciales, ¿verdad? Usted llega temprano o cuando, yo, cuando todos se van de clases, dice, mira, teacher, pero yo tengo una pregunta. Y ya se queda usted con el maestro, pues, resolviendo esas preguntas y esa cosa. Entonces, para suplantar ese momento que no se puede por lo virtual, ¿qué es? Eh, sí, déjeme preguntar. Por eso, Silvia. ¿Qué? Voy a preguntar mañana todas estas cosas. Mm. Sí, voy a preguntar esas cosas. Um, es para suplantar eso, para que usted pueda hacerme preguntas y podamos tener algo como más personalizado, ¿verdad? Ok. Let's go to the last activity. Oh, I mean, let's go to do this one. So, can you tell me number two, please? Ruth Saray. Uh, is I just can't manage to wake up on time. I'm always late. Excellent. Good job. Let's go with Floridalma. Look, it's right there. Can you see it? It's so obvious. Can't you see it or can you see it? Can. Can? Can. With affirmative? Yes. Mm, I think it's no. negative. Do, do you guys, can you see it? Like, no lo puedes ver? It's obvious. Mm, or everyone has can. I have can as positive. Can't. I can. Can't, because it's like obvious. It's so obvious. Can't you see it? I have can. Kent, okay, very good. It, it's Kent. Uh, let's go with the next one, please. Let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do. Brenda Linda. I can speak German. I lived in Germany for eight years. Lived, right? Lived. I, I lived in Germany for eight years. Excellent. Juan Jose. Okay. Uh, she doesn't have driving license. She doesn't, she don't, she can't drive a car she can drive a car right she can't okay guys we are going for the last time oh no or we have time yeah we'll go super quickly super fast okay for the last time to the breakout rooms and i want you to speak about your abilities but at this time using can and can't okay so i'm a good at fast learner um i i speak english no I can speak English. I can learn fast. Okay, so talk about that with Ken. Yes? Okay. Yes, excellent. So we're gonna do it really quick. Don't worry about the time. It's it's better if we have more time. <laughs> Because then you will have it. Van a tener su tiempo, verdad? 90, ¿cuántos son? 120 minutos. Okay, let's go. Let's practice and we come back really quick. different things uh, um, 
Okay, well, uh, it is a, uh, because I, I love to paint in my free time or draw uh, different things like landscapes or something like that. Um, maybe the things that I cannot do uh, will be dance. I can't dance. Uh, oh, I can't. Uh, play guitar. I can't speak Chinese. Uh, what else? I think, I, I think that I can many, many things. <laughs> okay, Merlin. What about okay, you? In my uh, okay, in my case, I can drive because um, I didn't learn as, fun, as, as fast as I want because sometimes I can't, I couldn't go to, to the class. Mm. So you... I, it took a look time. Sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry, though, sorry. Um, do you study English before that? Yes. Yeah. You must to care. You have to to have um, to care for because uh, to drive in San Salvador is very difficult because many many um, drivers mm -hmm. um, don't uh, the the law the laws I don't know the layers I don't know don't don't uh, they don't care about uh, other people make, because there uh, is many traffic over there, right? But maybe in the future, yeah, I'm going to, to be more brave and have a car. And it's very, very difficult. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Little ac academy. Um, actually, I'm working, but uh, I don't have a, a lot of time. So. To study. Yes. OK. It's my first time, too. <laughs> but now I, I, can, I can study because I'm working at my home. Oh, okay, um, it's a really good. I believe that this is a new opportunity to improve our English yeah. and right. yeah, and grow. <laughs> it's a really good. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. So it was interesting to go through your break of rooms, listening what you can, can do. Like there's a lot of people that can't drive. Like I heard like some people there, like I can't drive. And some people giving advice is like, yes, it's difficult to drive in San Salvador. So maybe that's the reason <laughs> can't drive, right? <laughs> but that's true, teacher. Yes, it's true. People in yes. people in not in San Salvador, people in El Salvador. Oh my God, you guys. It's crazy. They like they don't care. More if you have like the motorcycles, the taxis, the buses, they don't care. They just like and the people walking, have you ever gone like through the the, the where the mercados are, like the street markets? They don't care. They pueden caminar encima de su carro si quieren. They don't care. It's okay right <laughs> okay guys so let's go with the attendance this is the last attendance Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz yes Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval I'm here Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro I'm here Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta 
Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. I'm here. Flor Hidalma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Harvin ya no está. Ok. Um, Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. I'm here. Juan José Ábalos Campos. I'm here. Katia Margarita Herrero, Pe Herrero Pérez. I'm here. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. No. Merlin eh, Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Me, Miguel Ángel Centeno. Here, teacher. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. I'm here, teacher. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Zuleima Lisset Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. William Antonio Morales Mancía. I'm here. Jessica Yancy Cortés Díaz. It's Yanari. Perdón, Yanari, Yanari, perdón, I'm sorry. <laughs> ya estoy dormida. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Excellent. Y tenemos a Josué Efraín y Silvia María, que voy a preguntar por ellos la próxima clase. Okay? Um, and Claudia, and yes. Claudia. También voy a preguntar por usted, Claudia. That's, that's correct. Claudia, Maricela, Selena. Thank you. Appreciate yes. It. Very good. Okay, guys. So I will see you tomorrow. Nos vemos aquí eh, mañana siempre a las 8 p.m. Y preparada okay. la persona que le toque mañana la instructoría, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Bye, bye. Se me van todos Thank menos you. Ana Beatriz, right? I'm your teacher, but but I have issues with my internet. Okay, Merlin. Merlin. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for yeah. letting me know. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Very good. So, Ruth no me, I don't, I don't know. Okay, very good. Anna, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing really good. How are you? I'm fine. And how about you? I'm really good. I'm here excited and sorry because yesterday I couldn't teach the class, but I'm happy because I could today. Okay, I'm happy too. Okay, very good. To meet me? Uh, I have a, a little question. Yes, uh, I can I can I cannot start at the beginning of the class and I want to know if you give some instructions about about the class, uh, something do you need that the students have to do during the class or after the class? Yes. Can this you... is your first time? No, teacher. I study uh, with English Corporativo for uh, months ago and I extra came in this course. Oh, so you started uh, learning and you stopped learning four months ago and then you are uh, uh, yes uh, okay okay that's fine so maybe these are the rules so this is like something that I was telling everyone so the attendance uh, I take it three times so at the beginning of the class at 8 p.m. then at 9 p.m. and then at 10 p.m. okay okay so that's the first one cameras have to be on at all times so your camera has to be on and you had it on so that's okay okay so your name has to be written down as you have it in the DUI that I believe is Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Exactly. So that is okay. So you have to log in here with the email that you gave Inglés Corporativo to contact you. So they know that is the email you're going to be using for the classes. Uh, I have an mail. I try to work in the platform but I can't uh, I'm going to try it uh, again and I'm going to tell you tomorrow if, if I why can't you work in the platform uh, I have problems with my password I can remember I can remember my password and, and I have to 
restablecer again. So you have to reset your password? Yes. Can you so, do it? Uh, I try to do it, but I have the the homework in my notebook because I can do it because I can do it. In I the couldn't platform. do it. Couldn't do I it. could. I couldn't do it in the platform. So okay, Anna. Maybe you can contact the people from administ administrative things in English Corporativo, so they can help you with your password. Yes, I'm going to try uh, first, uh, but if if I had problems with that, I'm going to contact them. I I use uh, my email and my password uh, about three or five days ago, and I didn't have any problem. But today I tried to do it that can, but I can. So I'm going to 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 try and uh, to or one or, or two one once or twice a, a, a games. But if I have problems, I'm going to contact uh, the English Corporativo. Okay, uh, excellent, excellent. I think that's a good idea. Okay, very good. So and the other one is that you have to turn on your microphone only when necessary. This is to avoid the other noises that you can have in your house, right? Like for example, a dog barking or people fighting, anything, right? Okay. And then this is what we're doing right now, that we will have support sessions every day from 10 to 10 p.m. But actually it's more of the time because we finish the class late, so I stay with you 10 minutes. That's what I have to say with you, like 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Um, and this one is very important. Like, as you are right now in the Principiante 6, it means that you are almost intermediate level. So you are close to being intermediate. So I'm going to use Spanish only when necessary or like a few times. And I ask you to do the same. So as much as you can speak in English, it's better, right? Okay. And the other one is the attendance is about the minutes minutes you are connected. It's not about the, if you say, teacher, I'm here, and then you go and leave the class, and then you come back at nine and you say, teacher, I'm here. That is not correct. If you are not in the class, uh, it, it has to be 120 minutes every class to complete the, the the course right this is like going to the school when you go to school and you have to to be there in the whole class you cannot be like just like teacher i'm here and you go out to recess right yeah it's the same here so that is what i told i told everyone and that you have to be completing the platform as soon as you can okay do you have other questions uh yes yes um, maybe you have some suggestions uh, for me to try to to speak English more fluency. I think fluency, fluently. fluently. Uh, frequently, I understand, but sometimes it's difficult to me to express my ideas. Uh, maybe because sometimes I forget some words or maybe I don't know how how can how I can pronounce or maybe is the pronunciation is or not is correct. Sometimes I had to difficult to express the coordinate in, in, in a correct order to express. I understand and I try to speak, but sometimes uh, or or maybe or frequently I had the problem when I try to speak to express my ideas. I can pronounce I can't pronounce very well or can to put uh, in a correct order the words. Sometimes I mix the words. Uh, maybe if I, I have a sentence, I say uh, questions uh, or instead of 
that I say a sentence, uh, but it's a question. And sometimes I have uh, that problem when I try to, to, to express my idea. I don't have the same problem when, when I want to write down, write, write down in, my, in my notebook because I know the correct order. Oh, yeah, or I use the cues. I, I know first is the pronoun, second is, is the verb, and after the complement. Or if you are talking in third person, uh, you have to use the verb with S at the end. It depends. I don't have problems with write down the sentence or the questions. I have problems when try to express my ideas, when I try to to, ex to speak. And maybe you have some uh, suggestions about that, uh, how I can uh, improve, mejorar, improve. Uh, improve. Uh, that situations because I uh, that situation maybe feels sometimes uh, a little uh, no muy segura. Okay, not so sure. Not so sure. Okay. Um, actually, let me tell you, your English is not bad, so it's not like bad English, like you said, like you have problems speaking or expressing your ideas, and you have a good English so far because you're not advanced English. Imagine if you speak like this now that you are just principiante six, then when you are going to advance, your English will be better. Actually, that is the main advice that I can give you. Practice, like practice makes perfect. It's like in Spanish, la practica es el maestro, right? Okay. So, because in the main problem with people that speak Spanish as the first language and then they try to learn another language is that we first think in Spanish, then we translate and then we speak, right? Yeah, sometimes I have the problem maybe when frequently, well, when I usually speak in English, sometimes I'm thinking in Spanish. Uh, so I think that's the problem that I had, but I tried to 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 speak uh, quickly, and I have problems that because always I am thinking in Spanish. Always try to speak not fast, but with good pronunciation. So, for yeah. example, when I'm speaking to you, I try to make a good pronunciation because you're learning pronunciation, and I don't have to go really fast. I just have to speak and pronounce the words correctly. So my advice to you will be the same advice that maybe someone else could give you. Listen to songs in English, learn songs in English, watch series in English, watch movies in English, surround yourself as much as you can with English. So for example, in my case, I learned English, but I was in my fifth year learning English and I couldn't speak really fast. Then I went to the United States and I lived there for a year. There I improved my pronunciation, but because I was surrounded with English all the time. So the main thing that you have to do is surround yourself with English, reading English um, because you will acquire more vocabulary, uh, watch movies, series and everything in English. If you can use subtitles, do it, but it's better if you use the subtitles in English, okay? And try to listen to more music in English, try to, song, to sing the songs in English. And this is one that is really good, record yourself. So use your cell phone and record yourself while speaking. Then listen and you will listen the mistakes that you make. Then try to do it again and then you listen and then you will be, like listening to those mistakes and then you will be correcting yourself. Okay, thank you. And what about the listenings? Sometimes when I record some a little conversations, uh, I, sometimes I, I can understand very well. I understand and I try to, to join the words, but to, with, with, with the object to understand, but I know I don't understand all or all the word 
don't worry about that. That will come with the time. That it, it's okay. If you don't understand at the beginning, if you listen again to songs and watch series and everything, then you will start to understand. Okay. That Thank is you. it. Okay, Anna, it was really nice to talk to you. Maybe we will have the opportunity again, uh, but right now I have to go because I have to upload the video to YouTube, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, have a good night, Anna. Bye. Bye-bye.